Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Karisma Kurniawan Aji. You can call me Karis. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create login with Axios with API, and then uh, we're gonna save the token on the async storage. So, for example, when you try to login after your login and then move to the plus screen, it should be navigated to home screen. You don't need to login anymore. So, without any further ado, let's go start it. The first thing that you need to install is uh, this package Axios JWT decode and React Native Async Storage. So yeah. Okay, after that we're gonna create folder API and then we're gonna initiate API manager to GS and then create import Axios and then cons API manager axios dot create base url I'm, we're gonna use localhost i already create a server for it but if you have a server just uh, put uh, your endpoint in here localhost for this last api and then respond type JSON and with credential true. After that, we need to create user API .js. So in this uh, file, we're gonna import API manager. Sorry, I haven't for export for this one. So export default API manager, and then we're gonna import API manager, and then we're gonna create for user login. Export cons user login asynchronous data. This is data what we gonna for do for the request at try catch if error it should be return error not response response dot data cons result wait API manager and then what endpoint we use uh, on this section I use user and then slash login after that we need to add what method we use pause for example I'm gonna use pause headers at content type Headers content type application slash JSON and for data data from this and then after that we're gonna return for the result. Okay, we're gonna press save and then we're gonna go to our home screen I mean we're, we're gonna go to login screen okay on this login screen on this login screen I already create some validation for login you can see that on github I already put it on the description so on this one we're gonna add First, I'm going to add to navigation for the props, and then we're going to import this one user login, and then we're going to input email for email. This is from the body what we 
from the API for example if your API is using username or user or phone number you need to write it same as the body from the API so for the password I'm gonna use password and then then if result so dot status I'm oh, sorry oh, sorry uh, I'm gonna do like this then result callback if result the status are 200 we're gonna add async storage async storage dot set item we're gonna add access token for the name and then what data what we know what data that we want to save on the async storage and then i'm gonna put result the data the token and then after that we're gonna add navigation dot navigate I mean replace to home and then we're gonna add catch if error console dot error error okay I think it's done we're gonna try to add Cherries at gmail.com one qrz mm, what's wrong i think we need to console ah oh, you should not found okay wait a minute Oh, okay, I forget to this one to lowercase, and we're gonna try again. Wrong password. Mm. Okay, we're gonna add this one, and it should be succeed. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, I forgot. For access token, we only want to add one data. We cannot add uh, more than one data. For example. We're gonna use Postman if we want to have a look for the API. Yeah, we are, we want to add only token for this one. So we're gonna refresh and then try to login back. Data dot token. So it should be working. Cherries at at gmail dot com. Yeah, it should be working. Now on the splash screen, we need to add splash screen. So if we are not set up on our splash screen, every time we try to refresh or nothing, do something on the apps the apps will be back to the login screen how can we set up so uh, how can we set up for the login screen so we don't need to login again this one is the way we need to re-login and then to set up on our splash screen 
So in this section, we we'll need to add, create some function. Cons uh, handle token get token asynchronous cons data token we need to get data from the our async storage async storage dot get item and then what key that we initiate on the login screen we initiate the access token and then we need to add validation if there is no data token it should be navigation dot replace to login screen else navigation replace to home and we're gonna delete for this handle get token yeah i think that's enough now we're gonna try to refresh it and then yeah it's already navigated to home we don't need to log in anymore so i think that's it tutorial for today uh, i'm sorry if my english is not really good and then you get a bit confused yeah uh, i'm sorry because i'm still learning on speaking english yeah if you have any question you can just email me on the description and also ask me on instagram i already put on this one uh on this on the description for the link github so yeah i think that's it for now thank you